welcome back to Toyota Sports Talk. It has been too long, but it's great to have my guy, Mark Gray, back on the program. Mark, as always, great to have you on Toyota Sports Talk. I know you're a busy man. What are you, what are you working on these days? Man, I've got a whole lot going on. And you're right, it has been too long. Uh, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm working like this. Uh, my latest venture is Smash Sports, Smash Entertainment. We produce the HBCU Sports Nation, so check us out on YouTube. We also got a, a sports gaming show called The Sure Shot. And then, of course, uh, my friends over at The Contender have uh, blessed me with their app, so I got a week of local D.C. sports talk that I'm breaking you off with every week. So uh, that, the writing is still going on. I appreciate your grind, respect your grind, but always great to chop it up with you for about 10 minutes here. And I want to kind of, I know you love your baseball and, and you've always been a big baseball guy. How disheartening is it to kind of view what's been going on between the players union and the owners? And do you see any end in sight? Uh, the back part of it, no. And I don't like the fact that there's a, a lockout, which is, sort of exacerbated the process of the players not budging off of any uh, reason to negotiate. I think what they're feeling right now is that baseball is trying to strong on them and win the court of public opinion. But what they're learning is the way that they're doing that by not even coming with a counter proposal as a olive branch is really not making them look good. So you put uh, millionaires in a fight with billionaires rarely if ever do the billionaires come out looking good see nfl uh but in this particular situation if i'm a lay fan i can't do anything but look at the uh owners right now are you fearful that games are going to be missed or do you think once the money starts stopping in terms of revenue and concession and all that stuff then they're going to start talking even more how do you how do you see that approach I think that the billionaires have more money to outlast the millionaires so yeah. they can take the financial hit, but nobody wins in that situation. You know, despite the television money, the ratings are dwindling. And quite frankly, it's difficult to get the butts in the seats, which is that daily generated revenue that offsets the cost of operations. So uh, owners are going to feel it. Players are going to feel it more because those are still big checks for salaries. If you're down a couple of paychecks, you're going to feel it because cost of living is rising for everybody. So it's just a lose-lose scenario. I want the egos to get away from it. And, and now it becomes a meeting of the minds on both sides. Now, the minors and all that, that's a different story. Those are the people who really get hurt. And another big loser all this is you mentioned it, the fans. I mean, how detrimental is this in terms of helping grow the game and, and, and getting butts in seats. I mean, fans obviously are not happy. And Scott, that's the point I'm trying to talk about, man. Baseball, my game, I grew up black and white, Joe Garagiola, Tony Kubek, you know, yeah. uh, Steve Garvey and the Dodgers. Yeah. Let's be clear about that. That's the game of my youth. So I don't, it's tough for me to sell the game as it is because we're in a quick pitch society, if you will. Uh, the young generation wants it, it's snippets and fast. It's hard to connect. You're gonna take the game away. You're not building the brand of American athletes, particularly African-American athletes. So that's a significant fan base as it is right now. Baseball sustains you when your team is in the playoffs during the summer, and we don't have that. And coming out of a pandemic, people gotta step outside their own special interests and realize how Turning your back or giving a side eye to the fans means they're going to turn their back and never come back. I want to get to your uh, thoughts on HBCU, a, a very special game coming up this weekend. Howard University, the men's basketball program, going to be in the mix. Uh, for our viewers that may not know what's going on, fill us in, Mark. Well, in many respects, this is a historic day for uh, HBCU sports and nationally televised broadcasting. I've been doing research, and I've never seen where – two networks are going to have big time sports events involving HBCUs. To the one that you're talking about, Howard takes on Morgan State, that's going to be a, and, and you know how big it is, it's during All-Star Weekend, so they're going to play in Cleveland at Cleveland State. Again, regional rivals from our area 
playing on ESPN2 and TNT at the same time. I never thought I'd see one game on national TV if BET wasn't covering it. Now we have two. What do the standings look like? Is Howard right there? I know they have a great coach there at Howard. Uh, wh where are they at in terms of the MEAC? And, and obviously the MEAC tournament's going to decide who goes to the NCAA tournament, but are they, are they a strong contender? I think that Howard right now is a very young team that falls into that category. If I'm a contender, like North Carolina Central, like Norfolk State, I don't want to see them come a, a month from now. And then you've got the HBCU Legacy Bowl, which is the Black College football equivalent to the Senior Bowl. Okay. So it'll go to addressing the lack of, there were no HBCU players in the Super Bowl this year. There were no HBCU players drafted the last couple of years. At least you have a platform now for players like Darius Leonard of the Indianapolis Colts and Tariq Cohen of the Chicago Bears and formerly Antoine Bethea of Howard University to display their wear. So it's a, it's a huge day for HBCU sports. Glad to see teams from around the way who are uh, participating on these platforms. Well said there, Mark Gray. I always appreciate your time. Thanks for uh, joining us on Toyota Sports Talk. Hey, thanks for having me, bro. We got to get you on the contender real soon. Anytime, my guy. Appreciate you. Much more to come right here on Toyota Sports Talk. Stay with us.